everyone. Just wait a couple of minutes to see if anyone pops on live uh, for the video. Um, it's me, it's Michelle at Second Time Purses. Um, I wanted to jump on quick today and do a video. I have a ton of bags. So today I thought I would do like dedications of certain bags just in case you guys forgot or I lowered the price, which I did on a lot of them today. So today we're doing Coach and Michael Kors. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five Coach. I had six, but I sold one. Actually, no, I didn't sell one. My daughter claimed it. <laughs> Who am I kidding? It was a nice large wristlet. It was black and gray and she loved it. So of course I had to give it to her. So I have one, two, three, four, five um, Coach. Three of them are brand new. I think I put them on a video yesterday when I had that great day yesterday at the thrift stores. And then Michael Kors, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And three of them, I believe, are brand new. Um, and then a couple I lowered the price on. I'm surprised. I mean, honestly, there's two of them that are $25. And they're Michael Kors all leather bags. I'm surprised I haven't gone yet. Um, but anyway just to go through the housekeeping. Um, if you see a bag you like, you email me at missianoharris at me.com. So it's M-I-S-I-A-N-O-H-A-R-R-I-S at me, M-E.com. And just give me a description of the bag that you like. And I will go ahead and mail it to you. Um, postage, I set was used to say $10 across the board. But I learned my lesson when one of the items, uh, the bags, there were two of them, they were heavy. And I ended up paying $30 for postage. So actually, the lady was nice enough. I guess she watched my video when I mentioned it about the postage. And she was like, are those my bags you sent? And she actually Venmoed me the money. So there are really still good people in this world. So Christy, if you're watching this, thank you very much. That was more than kind of you. Um, and I'm getting your other bag out today, I promise. Um, so yes, that's how you purchase bags. I only accept Venmo. Um, after I film this video, when I'm done, I'll put a list of the bags at the bottom. Check the list to make sure it's still available. If it's not, you'll see like a lightning bolt. That means it's sold. So hopefully I'll get a lot of lightning bolts because my bags are building up. So I figured, do Coach and Michael Kors today, and then maybe one day do Kate Spade. I have a lot of brand name bags. Um, oh, and then at the end, um, there's one that I'm, I really, really love, and I shouldn't be keeping a bag, but I'm going to show it to you, my favorite bag out of all my bags, and uh, you guys let me know if I should keep it or if anybody wants it. If nobody's going to buy it, I think I'm going to keep it. I think I deserve a prize. Who am I kidding? I just ordered, I showed you that pocketbook I just ordered in the mail. And then I have um, the one that I bought off Poshmark, the one that I couldn't believe the lady gave it to me for the price she gave it to me for. I'm not sure if I ever showed that to you. I'll show that to you guys, maybe today. Okay, so those are the housekeeping rules. Oh, uh, if you can, I all I ask of you is to like the video. Um, it helps with the algorithm. Algorithms, I think that's called, and I'm really, really trying to build up my subscribers. It costs nothing. It takes one second. All you do is hit the subscribe button, and it doesn't bother you. It just bings if I come on to make a video, like one ding. So if you can do that for me, it would really, really help me. I'm trying to build up, um, like I said, my subscribers so I can continue to do this and buy more purses, refurbish them, and get them out to you. Because the way it's going, I don't know how long I'll be able to keep the channel. And I really enjoy doing this for you guys. So hopefully I'll get some sales today out of the Coach and Michael Kors um, episode. Episode. <laughs> I know I did the $15 bags. They're all mostly still available. No, I shouldn't say that. About 10 of them sold. Then I did the $25 bags. I don't think many of those sold. So I'll just keep trying different things. But... Let's get started. The closest ones to me are Michael Kors. So that's what I am going to start with. Um, I have, where did I put that piece of paper? Here it goes. I wanna make sure 
I give the right name to the right bag. This is one that I think I just adopted because she, she's not going anywhere. <laughs> no one wants her and she's absolutely stunning. Um, it's metallic silver. The top handles are in perfect shape. This one's Michael Kors. Look at the placket with the rhinestones. Isn't it pretty? It has gunmetal hardware, which I love. And it kind of is trying to take the look of, what's the name of those expensive bags? Um, the really expensive ones that have the strap, strap across the front. I can't think because I could never afford one. It will come to me. But it looks like that's what it's trying to go for. So it's a beautiful bag. You can see the front and back, the bottom. I'm just gonna go through them quickly because I've been through these with you before. This one is magnetic snap closure. And when you open it up, super clean and three compartments. So it has the zipper compartment in the middle, one big compartment in the front and one big compartment in the back. So this bag, it has two slip pockets and one open pocket. I can't believe with all the good things about this bag, I mean, the color is great because it goes with everything. The shape of it with the handles and the, the bottom are in fantastic condition and this beautiful strap with the gunmetal, I really can't believe this bag didn't go. I mean, honestly, this is probably a $300 bag. So this one eventually will find a home, but she's $25 and she's good weight and super clean inside, okay? So hopefully someone will snatch her up because I've had her for a very long time and I can't afford to lower her anymore. I think 25 is more than fair for a great bag like that. Okay, what's next? This one I've had for a good amount of time too and I can't believe it hasn't sold. It's black. This is the Coach bucket bag. It doesn't slouch right. So it says Michael Kors on the front right there. It has your handle. It has your crossbody strap. It has a huge pocket in the back. The leather is super, super soft. It has silver hardware and it's a magnetic closure. And then, oh, I can't open it unless I do the drawstring. And the inside on this one has one, it has your lanyard, then it has one zipper pocket and one open pocket. And it is, I know you can't see the inside. I don't even know why I do it. Just trust me, it's its super clean, like new clean. It has the lanyard. So this is a beautiful, super soft leather, Michael Kors bucket bag. It's black, so it can be an all season bag. Um, you know, it has the, the pull string to cinch it, but it still has the magnetic strap. So nobody can get into your bag. You can use it as a shoulder bag here or a tote. And here you can use it as crossbody, so you can be hands-free, which I'm actually starting to really like crossbody bags. I used to be just a tote girl, but I've been using, I don't know if you guys remember, I got a small in that thrift box when I opened it up. There was like a small um, beige Michael Kors crossbody bag. And when I go thrifting, I use it, I switch out my pocketbook and I take that one all the time because all I have to fit in there is my, you know, my credit card, my phone and maybe lipstick or whatnot and I wear it cross body and I love it because you don't have to worry about where's my bag did I put it in the cart you know it's just it's on you it's cross body it's close to you so I really have been leaning towards cross bodies I'm I'm a tote girl all the way but I think I'm going to be converted soon okay so this one is the black pocket bag and this one is $40 which if you check the comps online is a great deal. Um, I'm probably going to give it another couple of weeks because it's these ones for some reason aren't moving on Poshmark either. eBay, everything sells faster. So um, I might have to list them on eBay because I can't go lower than 40. I mean, it's an all leather, beautiful Michael Kors bag. All right. So that's two. I'll leave my, uh, I'll leave the last two that I just got yesterday for last. I'll show them to you again. I couldn't believe the comps on these bags. I mean, someone was looking down on me when I went thrifting yesterday. All right, this is a clutch, Michael Kors. I will tell you, the brass hardware that says Michael Kors, I can't, 
I don't know if you can tell, because Michael Kors on the bottom, but it's very scratched. I mean, you can't see from far away that it's scratched, but if you were to look at it, it has scratches on it. I conditioned it. I mean, look at the black, it's super soft. You can tell it's shiny. So it has a snap open. It has all the Michael Kors fabric, um, Michael Kors, um, Michael Kors name fabric. I don't know how, how you would say that. And when you open it up, it has all, I don't know if you can see it, it has all credit card slots right here. And then it has one open pocket on the other side where it says Michael Kors, which I'm not sure. The bag's too hard, I can't pull it out. But this side of it has the open pocket that says Michael Kors. And this side of it has all the credit card slots. So, I mean, it's a small bag, but you can fit, there's one, two, three, four, five, six credit card slots, and then you have the open pouch. So this is great for a wedding or when you go out with your friends and you don't wanna you know, carry a big bag. It, this is so classy. It's a super classy bag that will never go out of style. Um, so this one is a leather cut, $30. This one was called the, when did I just see that? Leather clutch, $30. It's actually called the Sutton, S-U-T-T-O-N, in case you want to look it up. It's called the Sutton Leather Clutch. Okay, this one I just got recently. It is a navy blue canvas crossbody, and it is in fantastic condition, like new. It has your Michael Kors emblem right there. The front, it's uh, gold hardware. The front has a pocket that opens up super clean then you have a pocket in the back that's actually you don't just put your hands in it which is good it's a snap closure so people couldn't just walk by and stick their hands in it's an actual snap closure and that's very clean this bag i don't think was used i've had a few of them lately especially yesterday i mean look at the inside it's so clean there's no signs of wear at all there's one large pocket inside I'm sorry, there's two large pockets inside, one one on each side. Um, the strap is in great condition. It's adjustable. And it's a great crossbody bag. Someone needs to buy it, so I don't keep it. Because <laughs> there's already one I want in my stash. Okay, so this one, it's nylon. You could take it to the beach, you could take it to the park, you could take it out with your kids, they can spill ice cream on it. You don't have to worry because all you have to do is wash it off. It's not leather. You don't have to be careful with it. This bag is very, very sturdy. And if you're someone on the go or have a bunch of kids that you have that you're following to the park or to the aquarium or the zoo, whatever, this is the perfect bag. It's big enough to fit your essentials, what you need. So this one is, what is this one called? Um, canvas crossbody. This one is $35. And like I said, I'll list all these again at the bottom of the video. All right, with the, oh, this one, I'm sorry. The silver one I got was my saddest, Michael Kors. I'm wrong. It's this poor baby. Super soft leather. I conditioned it. I got this one and another beige one at the same time. The other beige one sold. Michael Kors at the bottom. Single handle. Um, magnetic. Big size pouch on the back. The inside, you won't be able to tell, but you have to trust me that it's super clean. It has one zipper pocket, and then under the zipper pocket, it has two slip pockets. And then on the other side, it has two more slip pockets. And let's see, can I get you guys to see it? It's so clean inside. It has that key lanyard, and it's it's clean. I mean, it's it's a used bag. You know, when I got it, it looked a lot worse until I conditioned it. Um, the strap is starting to fray a bit, but I'll try to get that off. The tr Unfortunately, the trick is to use a lighter and to burn it off, but I don't like to do that because I'm scared that I'll like the whole pocketbook on fire, knowing me. <sighs> oh, I just realized I have my blessed shirt on. Blessed. I always wake up every morning and just try to feel blessed that I woke up, <laughs> you know, and I have my health. Those are, that's the most important thing.
So this poor baby has been with me probably for the longest out of all of them. So I'm hoping someone, I can't go lower. She's already down to $25. So I'm hoping someone wants to take her home. She's a great shoulder bag, slouchy, fits on your shoulder perfectly. And like I said, she's only $25. So I'm calling this one the beige because I couldn't find the name for this one. So I'm just calling it the beige one strap. All right, this one I just got like two weeks ago. I thought this one would go immediately. This one is called the Red, it's the Michael Kors Red Hamilton. This is a substantial bag, it's heavy. It has the key fob thing, thing, listen to me. Then it has this heavy, heavy Michael Kors lock, it's supposed to be, it's not functional, but it's beautiful. It's all gold hardware. The handles are in perfect condition. It also has the shoulder strap. It won't go cross body, it's shoulder. And it's all gold hardware. It's in beautiful, beautiful condition. The color red just stands out. I, I absolutely love it. Um, the inside of the bag, it's a snap opening. The inside of this bag is very, very clean. On one side you have a, large, a zipper and then two slits underneath it, and the other side you have two slits. And if you can see how clean it is, it's really clean. Um, oh, and it has the, the key lanyard as well. I'm trying to see if it looks like anyone ever even used it, if I can see any. No, I mean, look at the material. It's like brand new. I don't think this, I think, I don't, if this was used, it was probably only one or two times. It looks brand new. I mean, the bottom of the bag, you can tell the feet are super clean. So this one is the Hamilton and this one I, I'm surprised I only have it at, well, $45 I priced it at. Um, great, great bag, a ton of leather. It's a heavy, substantial bag and it definitely stands out, the red bag. It's a bag you can... Um, I don't know if you can use it all seasons. You can. You can use any color bag all seasons, but I can definitely see this out like in the fall and in the winter um, as a great bag. So $45 for a huge leather bag. Okay, these next two, I looked them up. Thank God for Google Lens. That helps me so much. I could not believe what these bags were selling for. I can't believe someone left them at a thrift store at Savers as donated them. I mean, they're expensive. They're both well over $200 bags. Um, the first one, I'm trying to get them right. Did I do the, I did this one. So we're down to the Millbrook and the medium sum. Okay, this is, let me zipper it, see if it gets it. I should have stuffed it for you so you can see better. Okay, this one is the medium summer bag. I think it's in, it's called ballet color because it's a light pink. It says Michael Kors. I don't know if you can see that um, at the top. Am I putting it in the right place? Yeah. It, it does have wear, um, not a ton. The handles show a little bit of wear. And then I don't know if you can see, where's the spot? There's like a spot right here and one tiny spot on the front, like tiny, tiny. You can't see it. The cro It didn't come with a crossbody strap, but I added one and I think it looks great with it. It's silver and gold chain and it has like crocodile for the padding, like snakeskin. I thought it matched perfect because the hardware is gold. So you have the gold and silver chain and then you have the contrasting shoulder bag so i added that um the inside on this one the only thing it's clean except for the bottom i mean it's a it's a used bag so the bottom of the bag does show a little wear but the sides of the bag are in great condition i mean how can i show you that there's the zipper you can see it's clean and there's the side with the slits it's just the bottom that's dirty so Nobody really looks at the bottom of your bag. So this bag was selling for $225 to $250 used. I guess it's a very sought after bag. It's called the Medium Selma S-E-L-M-A bag. And 
I was lucky to have the uh, cross body strap because it would have been less value without the strap. So I'm gonna put this in here. If you don't like the strap, it's fine. You can just tell me and I'll, I won't send it with the strap. Um, so this one, the medium Selma is $75, which is a fantastic price for what they are selling for. I would, if you look online, you will see what I am talking about. Okay, last of the micro cores. This one is called, and this one is really highly sought after. This is called the Michael Kors Millbrook Signature Hobo Bag. And she is pretty. I'm not one to have all initials on the bag, but this one really is pretty. The, look at the plaque, it's brand new. There's no scratches. This is the bag that I believe is brand new. I don't think anyone's used it. The corners of the bag, the, the leather part, look brand new. The handle looks brand new. It's all fabric material it's in dark brown um, leather accents. It is a snap closure. And inside there's two slits. And then the other side has a zipper and two slits. And it's like new inside. I truly, truly don't believe anybody has ever used this bag. So that is the Millbrook Signature Bag. And this one is also $75. All right, we are done with Michael Kors. And now I have to get all my coach bags. Actually, I gotta have a sip of my, my vodka, <laughs> my iced coffee. All right, let me, I gotta push you guys out for a minute and bring over the coach bags. And then I have a mystery guest bag. <laughs> and then the bag that someone needs to buy so I don't keep it. All right, let's see, where's the best lighting? I think right here. I just listed all the new ones from yesterday on Poshmark and my phone is lighting up. It keeps saying Poshmark, Poshmark, Poshmark. So hopefully people are looking at them. All right, which is this one? This one is the Coach Pewter Metallic Tote. This is a recent one that I just got. So it's a, okay. It's metallic -y gold color. It has that strap across the front again. What is the name of that bag? Birkin, Birkin bags. It's trying to t look after a Birkin bag. It's trying to take that you know shape. So it has, a functioning pocket in the front and if I don't know if you can see the material yeah it's it's emerald green it's beautiful and it's satin um, there's no pockets or anything it's just but it's big it's the whole front of the bag so it's emerald green the strap is in great condition there's no fraying it has the two toggles it has the one that is the same color as the bag and then it has a gold one so it has your two, I like the little danglies. Um, the bottom of the bag is in great condition. And I said it's a zipper opening. And the inside of the bag has one huge zipper pocket on one side and two slip pockets on the other. And that green is stunning. I don't know if you can see it. It's all green satin lining. It's an absolute beautiful bag. And it has a cute little tassel for the zipper pull. Um, the hardware is pewter. It's a pewter hardware. And she is a pretty bag. If I stuffed her up, like if I put the stuff inside, she'd look even prettier. She's just kind of flat from being in my box of bags. Okay, so she is, I love how I say she. It's probably like, I'm a boy. Uh, the Coach Pewter Metallic Tote she is $40. I actually just marked her down. She was 50. So $40. All right. This one I'm saving for last. That's the expensive one. All right. The rest. No, let me do this one. This one I didn't just get, but this one is brand new with tags. Look at how cute. It's a miniature C. Like the C's are all small. If you can see that it's the jacquard fabric with leather lining. 
This bag is brand new. It's new without tags. The strap has white stitching, white contrast stitching, silver hardware, zipper, um, has a cute little zipper pull. The inside is black. Um, it has one zipper pocket with the creed and the other side has two slits. It's super clean inside. So this is the miniature C hobo bag in brand new condition. She's absolutely beautiful. If she was stuffed, she would look better. The lighting is not good. I wonder if I move my phone. Is that any better? Fits really nice on your arm, snug under your arm. It looks like it's about an eight and a half inch um, drop for the strap, which is perfect size. So she is, um, like I said, she's brand new um, without tags. Um, and if you are interested in her, in her, just say the Coach Black Hobo Jacquard, J-A-C-A-R-D -J bag, or you can write the Miniature C Hobo bag. It can go by either, um, and it's $40. So $40 for a brand new Coach bag is pretty good. All right, let me get the next two up here. This next one would have been perfect if it didn't have the... The inside has staining, so I had to, you know, price it accordingly. But I think it is just adorable. It's all patent leather. It's like a rubber. It's red. It has the tag. It is so stinking cute. It is uh, leather handles with just a little bit of fray, nothing major. It has a functioning pocket in the front, pink accent trim. Um, silver hardware. The back has a large pocket as well. Oh, I found something. What is in here? It's a pen. Oh no, I can't get it out. I got it out. Someone left their pen in the bag. They could have ruined the material. So the back pocket is super clean. Besides having to use it as a shoulder bag or a tote, it also has crossbody option okay and this one the crossbody strap is in great condition so the bag over overall is in perfect condition the front pocket the lining is great the back pocket the lining is great you know the hardware the straps but then we get into the inside and someone really did not take care of it um it's light pink here's the creed but if you can see that's the dirtiness see all that on one side of the bag. I mean, it's the inside of the bag. Nobody's going to see it. So it really doesn't matter. I mean, it wouldn't matter to me. I would buy a bag if it, if I liked the outside and, and the inside had um, stains. You could probably even oxy it um, and try to get it out. I didn't want to try because it's with patent leather on the outside. And the other side has some staining as well right there. So it has one zipper pocket, two slip pockets. It has the pink accent hang tag. So all in all, it is, it's by the Poppy Collection and that is a huge sought after line with Coach, the Poppy line. And I'm just sad that that material inside is stained because it would be the perfect summer bag. It's cute if you have like, for Easter, if you have a daughter or a niece or a granddaughter, it's perfect. I have 20% oh, of my battery. My phone just told me, so let me go through this fast. So that's the Coach Poppy Tote. Um, it's a very expensive bag, but because of the inside, I uh, only priced it at 35 Okay, this one is highly sought after. I couldn't believe I found it, first of all. It's the Coach Patchwork Crossbody Bag. It's in brand new condition. Gold accents. It has a cotton, cotton large crossbody strap. Brand new. Corners have leather. Brand new. It has a front pocket that just opens. And then a zipper pocket. And the inside has the creed. But there's no slit pockets or no zipper pocket. So this, pat, for some reason, the patchwork, I, I get amazed every time I look things up. 
the patchwork uh, crossbody bag is expensive. I wouldn't think, I mean, it's a small bag, but it has a high price tag. So that one, what did I put that at? Coach signature. Oh, I didn't list that. Hold on. Coach Poppy Tote, Coach Signature Password. Um, $35 for that one. Why didn't I write that down? Coach Patchwork. $35. And that, I, I was surprised actually. I, I'm surprised I priced it that low. That's a expensive bag. All right, now, save the best coach for last. Once again, this one, I could not believe the price. They were going for $225 to $250 used. This is called the Coach Large Soho Envelope. Oh, I found the Coach Patchwork crossbody. Um, I apologize. I listed it. It's at $40. I'm sorry, guys. Um, it's very, very, it's an expensive bag. If you look it up, 40 is a very, very good price for it. Okay, so this one is the last one. The Coach Large Shoulder, Co Coach Large Soho Envelope. It has... All the C's are in the jacquard fabric, and it has leather lining. It has a patent leather dangle. This is a fake buckle. It's just um, magnetic. And when you open it up, you'll see why they call it the envelope. Hold on. You open it up like this. It looks like an accordion. It has two pockets. It has one large pocket. I believe this bag is new because there's no wear on it. One large light blue pocket with two slit pockets. And then the other one, and that one zippers. So this pocket, you have to zipper. This pocket, when you open the bag up, it's just already opened. Um, it has two slit pockets. I love the light blue. It's in brand new condition. So one pocket has the zipper. The other pocket just opens. So see what I mean by the accordion? That's the one pocket zip it up. That's the one that's open. Um, and then you have your fake buckle. And the bottom of the bag is brand new. And this fits so nicely on your shoulder. It's the perfect shoulder bag. Um, and it's like new it's i'm gonna say it's new without tags this bag has no wear on it whatsoever this bag was pricing just the same as the others between 250 between 225 250 this, i guess these ones are sought after and they hold their value but obviously i'm not charging you 225 to 250 i would really never have a channel um this one the large it's called if you email me it's called the soho envelope it's 60 dollars Okay, so that's all the micro cores and the coach. I hope you guys liked some of them and buy some. Mother's Day is coming up, and you can get a great bag that's very expensive for a discounted price. Um, I just have two other bags. One that I want your opinion if I should keep it, but this one I used. It's just too small for me. And I can't, I just have to show it again. Patricia Nash is a fantastic designer. You can smell the leather and it's a beautiful bag. It has um, rope type handles. It has a pocket in the back and the, her inside lining is like suede. And the inside has two pockets. I have it stuffed and a zipper pocket in the middle. Um, I'm surprised no one has purchased this bag yet. It's in great condition. Um, it's only $40 and it's from a great designer. So I used her. I love Patricia Nash. She is my favorite. Gucci's my favorite des design bag. Um, but of course I can't have a lot of those. Um, Gucci is my favorite by far. And then for like the medium high end, I would say Patricia Nash and Tory Burch are my favorite. They make great bags. Patricia Nash, I like the best for her leather products. She, she her leather is way better than Tory Burch, but Tory Burch makes fun bags. Um, so I wanted to give my Patricia Nash bag a shout out. Um, I know with Mother's Day coming up in Easter, who knows? Maybe someone will want to buy it. 
Okay, so this bag, every time I pick it up and feel it, I just want to keep feeling it and rubbing it. It is like lambskin. It's like if you ever felt a Chanel bag, a quilted Chanel bag, how soft it is. This feels even softer. This is the one I acquired that I just saw, and when I felt the bag, I knew it had to be expensive. Didn't know the designer. Look at this bag. Look at how beautiful she is. She has a pocket in the back. The bottom, the feet are super clean. Her, oh, she has a little bit of, um, a little scratch right here. Her handle is so substantial. Look at, it's smaller, but then it gets bigger for the shoulder part. And then it has a drawstring. It's by Christopher Kahn, K-O-N. If you look him up, you'll be surprised. I never heard of him, but he has very expensive bags. So the inside has a zipper section in the middle which ha makes two different compartments and it's clean it doesn't look like it was ever used it's kind of like a gray with black and gray um, crisscrosses and it is just so stinking soft i mean i love it <laughs> i love it um i just love it so what did i price him at he is an expensive bag. He's a he. I guess I I guess I call certain bags he and certain bags she. He is an expensive bag. I priced him on the lower side. Like I said, Christopher Kahn. Um, he's $75. Which is why, in a way, I don't want to sell him because I'd rather have someone buy him and um, save up money for my daughter's college. But, um, but I do love it. I love it a lot. <laughs> but I have so many bags, guys. Tell me what to do. Comment if I should keep it or if I should sell it. And I'll go by the comments. But if anybody wants her, I just said her. It's a him. If anybody wants him, $75. And seriously, look up Christopher Kahn, K-O-N. It's amazing to see how expensive certain bags are when I, I, I would pride myself on knowing handbag designers, all of them. And I learned something new you know, once a week at least on certain brands. Um, okay, that's it. It's a long video. I apologize. We're almost up to 40 minutes. So I'll let you guys go. But please, before I sign off, hit subscribe. It would help me a ton. Um, and have a great day. Um, I think the next video I'm going to make, I'm just waiting for those two bags to come in the mail. But I'm not going to go um, looking for bags the rest of the week and through Easter, I'm going to take time off and just, I have my regular job today and my regular job Saturday. So I'm off Friday and Sunday. So I think I'm just going to enjoy it unless I have to go to the post office to mail bags out. <laughs> um, thank you guys. And remember hit subscribe, please. If you're watching the video, just hit it. That's all I ask. Thank you.